Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about is Jeremy from Unsleeved Media being too mean to Wedge from the Mana Source. I'm going to break this down into two different arguments. The first argument would be should Wedge have health insurance? And the second one would be if a doctor told Wedge not to go, should he have gone? So let's address the first one. Yes, he should have have he should have health insurance. If you don't have health insurance right now, you should get it. Many Magic pros and many Magic players, they don't have health insurance. Even if you make very little income, you can still get it. And there's other reasons that you want it besides what happened here, like a massive medical disaster. There are tax implications if you don't have health insurance. Uh, the penalty for no health insurance in 2017 is 2.5% of your total household adjusted gross income or $695 per adult and $347.50 per child up to a maximum of $2,085. Uh, this is very easy to Google, and if you file taxes, you would know that this is a penalty. There is a penalty if you do not have health insurance. Now, there are some exemptions, um, but I don't know if any of these apply. It's really hard to know. It's a case-by-case -case exemption. So let's talk about the cost of not having health insurance versus the potential if you know that you have a health issue and Wedge has been very open that he has had health issues in the past you should absolutely get health insurance even if it costs a lot of money because what happens when you get hit by two hundred thousand dollars you have to pretty much declare bankruptcy now I know the donations are really well and they're doing well. Maybe he gets $100,000 in donations. $100,000 in debt is no joke. Uh, it is not a joke. And declaring bankruptcy is one way to get past it. I'm going to talk a little bit about student loan forgiveness now because it is relevant. A lot of people believe that after 10 years, their student loans will be forgiven. And the money just goes away. No, the school still got paid. Your bank still got paid. When a student loan is forgiven, do you know who pays? Us, the taxpayers. Everyone else is paying for that student loan to be forgiven. Now, in this type of medical bankruptcy, the doctors still get paid. This doesn't affect the doctor salary. This doesn't affect the hospital. This doesn't affect, well, in this case, insurance, of course. It affects the taxpayers. So I think that is why Jeremy is so mad or or he I don't know if he's mad. That's not the good way to say it. It explains why Jeremy is upset because he pays taxes. And as a society, we want to encourage healthy eating. We want to encourage healthy exercising because this type of thing is happening all over America. It's not just the mana source or wedge. I'm sure it has happened to many magic players as you can read from their comments. So we have to be realistic about health and wellness. I was watching a show. Uh, don't criticize me for this show. It's called 90 day fiance TLC. Yeah. I watch really trashy shows guys. Um, and the guy wanted his um, American fiance to go to the gym and she just wouldn't go to the gym and he mentioned all the health benefits and he wanted her to be healthier and you'll know, live longer and this is all look everyone should exercise more myself included everyone should eat healthier myself included not just for your sake but for society's sake the bills do not like somebody has to pay for it and if 
everyone's getting paid, then that means the payment's coming from the government, which means they'll have to tax us more in the future. So that's part number one, which I do agree almost fully with Jeremy's assessment of that. Uh, part number two, which I'm going to receive criticism, is uh, just the fact that Wedge chose to go even though his doctor told him no. I don't criticize that. Uh, here, there is a love story here. Uh, the love story is very simple. Wedge is, has been dating this um, other person uh, from the UK. She is also really into magic and a semi-magic celebrity, if you will. And when Wedge was in the hospital, she was the one updating Wedge's Twitter and promoting the GoFundMe. Visas are really hard to get right now. She lives in the UK, and the UK for a very long time, uh, when I went to Ireland and stuff, it, we didn't actually need, I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to remember, did I need an, a visa to go to Ireland for Google? I don't think I did. But if I did, I didn't get it. So there are countries that we can travel to without visas. And as long as you're there for business, you can, it's easy, but they're still expensive. It's still expensive to go from country to country, especially if it's over a great body of water like the Atlantic Ocean. So this was a time for them to meet. This was a time for them to hang out, have dinner. I saw the post about them going out to dinner. There was no doubt in my mind that given the circumstance, if a doctor told him you could, or there's a high possibility of you being injured, the fact that he chose to go still to meet her, I don't have any fault in that. I make a lot of irrational decisions with fostering animals. My resolution for 2018 was not to foster any more animals. That was actually, my, I'm not kidding you, that was my resolution, but then sometimes I get emotional. And then sometimes there's failed adoptions where I keep the foster animal instead of, you know, rehoming them. So I get it. Like to say something as like, you know, not, not everything is a logical decision. Sometimes you got to get on the plane and chase after the one you love. And I don't have any, I don't have any qualms about that. So if one of the only places that he could meet her was at GP Vegas, it made sense for both of them to be there I don't want to say it's worth it because obviously you know we have medical bills $200,000 but I can understand it and I will not going to criticize that so I think this particular this particular time I would suggest you to donate to Weds because he needs it and hopefully he will learn and I, I hope and pray that he gets insurance uh, from this point on but that might be more difficult to do now at this point in time and that's another reason that you should always have insurance because just like auto insurance if something really bad happens and your car gets totaled well guess what and the new insurance carrier that you're going to choose is going to charge you everything like they're going to because they already they can. So I agree with Jeremy's first assessment that yes, he should have health insurance. He makes enough money for health insurance. There are other reasons to get it outside of just even tax penalties. But I do not agree with his assessment that he made. It's a bad decision. But 10 out of 10 times, he would make the same decision, and I can get it. So if I was in his position, not that, you know, I made a video. I don't know which one's going to be posted first, but for you to help people and you to have that persona of you wanting to help people and help the community and help uh, children and do that, if that's your persona, you need to get strong. The stronger you get, the more you can help people. The more money you make, the more you can help people. And I've learned that from fostering animals. There are some, there are times where I don't have the money because of buyouts or whatever, and I cannot foster an animal because, and I cannot help that animal because I don't have the money. 
a vet, my vet is amazing and she is a wonderful human being, but she has expenses and she can't just do it for free. The heartworm medication costs money, the bordella, all these things, the vaccinations, spraying and neutering a pet costs money. You ha you're looking at uh, flea medication, tick medication, hookworms. You know, if the dog is very skinny, it has some type of worms that is draining their blood. So if you want to really make a difference, you need to get strong. And getting strong is not easy. And that's why I am very critical of some other YouTubers. I'm not critical of Wedge in this case, because uh, I get why he went there. If there was someone I really loved, yeah, I would be on the next flight. And if the doctor told me, oh, you might get sick on the flight, I would still go. I canceled a free trip to Ireland for Google event just because I wanted to spend some time at home. So I get it. I get it. And I think that I can appreciate that decision making. But anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.